there are two coaches who are front runners of the Hornets head coaching job position. First, Darvin Ham, rising assistant coach of the Milwaukee Bucks, and then Mike D'Antoni. This is going to be the most important hire for Michael Jordan. And Sham Sharanya has reported not only those two coaches are ahead of everyone else in the selection process, but this type of selection of a head coach will take its time. It may be next month. It may be a couple weeks. But the most important thing is it has to be the right selection. And I'll chime in. What's good, everyone? This is Raw Truth Media, giving you the raw content that you deserve really need. Peace and blessings, peace and love to everyone that's listening. Make sure to like and share this video. Man, the Hornets have an important decision to make. Michael Jordan, this is not the time for games and for politicking. This is the real deal. You have to get this head coaching position right. And you have to think long and hard. You have to think about the weaknesses that the Hornets have. Rebounding. Playing defense. If I was MJ. And if my two finalists are Darvin Ham and Mike D'Antoni. I would select Darvin Ham. Here's why. When I look for a head coach. I would look for a head coach who can relate to today's players. Darvin Ham can do that. He's played in the NBA. He has the respect for all the stars who played for the Milwaukee Bucks. He has a vision of what teams to look like. If you look at the Milwaukee Bucks, they're one of the tallest teams in the NBA. And they could switch all sides on defense. I want that type of team for the Charlotte Hornets. I don't want to see miniature guards who all they want to do is score and not play defense and establish a role. I don't want to see broken down forwards like Gordon Hayward. You can't even depend on them in a the game. Speaking of Gordon Hayward, the Hornets organization has to move on. They got to find a way. And that may be another video I'll talk about. But back on subject, Darvin Helm has earned his stripes, unlike some coaches who were given a position. Darvin Helm played at Texas Tech University. He was an undrafted player, but he played a long time in the NBA. And then he played in minor leagues of basketball. Then he went to the D League at the time. Bounced from the NBA to the D-League and then overseas. And then around 2008, he was an assistant coach. And then he moved to the New Mexico Thunderbirds coaching staff. And then he was an assistant, meaning Darvin Helm, for the Lakers from 2011, 2013. And then after that, Darvin Helm was a, a longtime assistant for the Atlanta Hawks from 2013 to 2018. And right now he's coaching with the Milwaukee Bucks. As a lead assistant, he won a championship with the Bucks. And he was very important to that team. He was a coach managing egos and making sure that communication was key on defense. This coach is a winner. Don't forget, when he played for the Detroit Pistons, he played on that team that won the championship in 2004. But this is who I want the Hornets to hire. If they cannot get Mark Jackson, it looks like they're not looking at him. 
Now, here's why I feel like Mike D'Antoni could be good short term, but not long term. And I want you to listen closely. Mike D'Antoni, he is a wizard of coaching offense. If Mike D'Antoni coached LaMelo Ball, his stats are going to be crazy. But here's the thing. Remember, I'm from Houston now. <laughs> and even though I'm a Laker fan, a lot of relatives are Rocket fans, and they will tell you that you cannot win the big game with Mike D'Antoni. You can win a couple playoff matches, but you can never take that big step because that offense is, it, it just doesn't cut it in the playoffs. You're not going to get calls in the playoffs. It's physical. It's a grind. And Dan Tony just couldn't get over that hump. But I'll say this. Mike D'Antoni's best chance to win a championship was in, I believe, 2005. When the Phoenix Suns had a talented team. With Amari and Prime, uh, Steve Nash and company. And then a lot of the Suns players got ejected on that fight. And I truly believe, I don't care who tells me. That the Suns would have won it all in 2005. If that never happened. That was Dan Tony's best shot. But. What you get with Dan Tony. Is consistency. He will have your team. Leave, leading in points. Leading in assists. Tempo. The whole nine yards. But that's about it. You won't get anything more than that. So the Hornets, they better think long and hard. Your goal is to win it all. Not to be a team that's just satisfied for making a playing game and getting your tails whooped or putting up these stats. The Hornets need a coach who will keep it balanced. Darvin Helm can do that for you. And Darvin Helm, if he has control over, over his roster, he could put up a more defensive team that has balance on offense. That's how you win it all in this league. Of course, he'll let LaMelo be LaMelo. That's a plus. He seems like a coach that doesn't get in the player's way. But I guarantee you with Darvin Helm, you will have a taller backcourt, taller front court. No more unathletic, undersized centers. That's what you'll get. But MJ, you got some decisions to make. This is no game territory right now. You can't play with LaMelo's future. You build this team around him. And the sad part about this, the Hornets should have been doing that when he was a rookie. But I'm glad they're doing it now. Let's see what happens. I hope the Hornets make the right choice. I have a good feeling it may be Darvin Ham, but I didn't even mention this. Hornets, you better hire him because if you don't hire Darvin Ham, the Lakers are going to hire him. And if the Lakers hire Darvin Ham, then you just stuck with Mike D'Antoni. Now, Mike D'Antoni is a whole lot better than James Borrego. I mean, he will, Mike D'Antoni will have LaMelo Ball average a near 30. So it's gonna it's given to it would be too bad, but my opinion, Darvin Ham should be the selection. If Mike D'Antoni is the head coach, I'm not gonna be mad. <laughs> I'm telling you. Even though I know the defense is not gonna be top notch, 
But still, anything's better than James Borrego. Anything's better than a nepotist coach holding star players back. That's something no fan wants to see. This is Raw Truth Media, giving you the raw content that you deservedly need. I want to tell everyone, man, thank you for rocking with Raw Truth. And I appreciate the congratulation messages that I've received through social media about my promotion and my job. Man, this is a, just a blessing. And no matter what, no matter what negative energy is out there, it never gets to me. Because I know I'm taken care of by the most high. And as long as I have that, nothing will stop me. And I'm out.